something extra special. Why don't you buy me a present and I show it to you? All right, uh, I, I could use a little stress relief. I've been a bad, bad girl today, Wei. I may need to be disciplined. You really know how to make a girl feel special. Come back anytime. Don't die, Jean. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Fuck up, Jackie! You gotta think! You gotta think? Don't hey, go back! Hey, go back! Hey, Shut up! Both of you! Winston's gone! Right now, we gotta stick together. We just can't let the 18K get away with this! What makes you so sure it was 18K? We all saw them! They were definitely 18K! Even stupid Jackie knows that! You ever think maybe they were just trying to look like 18K? Look, we've had a few skirmishes with them lately, but nothing major. It doesn't make sense that they would do something this big. Oh, oh, so, so, so who do you think it was? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. <clears throat> and who the fuck are you? I'm here for Mr. Lee. I take it you've heard of Big Smile Lee. He's another son on ye boss, Red Pole, just like Winston. Okay, what can we do for Mr. Lee? He has decided that for the time being, you may continue your operations in this area. But the percentage previously paid to Winston will now go to Mr. Lee. That's an interesting proposition. But I have a counteroffer from Mr. Lee. I'd appreciate if you relay this back to him word for word. Can you do that? You tell Mr. Lee that his people stay the fuck out of our territory and in return, we'll let him live. I don't think he'll find that offer to his liking. I think you'll find that I don't give a fuck. You see our guest out, make sure he doesn't get lost. You'll regret this. I promise you that.
You're done. Are you done? <laughs> I'm gonna break your face. You dare? You want to stay oh. pussy? Uh. Tell your boss, stay the fuck out of my territory. Fuck you, eh? Damn it! You got no end of the road. Give up now! Don't let this shit. Ah, shit. Just what I needed. Change your tongue, Shen. Miss Yang is a red pole, and she just saved your life. Miss Jang? Broken nose Jang? My apologies, Madame Red Pole. So why'd you bring me out here? I have heard a lot about you, Wei Shen. <laughs> I will get to the point. You must realize that you cannot stand against Big Smile Lee alone. That's what everyone tells me. Roland Ho said I'd need other bosses to support me. Indeed. Nah. I believe in harmony, balance, peace, and I don't mind spilling a little blood to achieve it. With Uncle Po in the hospital, there's much uncertainty in the Sun on Yi. If he recovers, we will both be stable and strong. But if he dies? The 18K presents a very real threat. We cannot afford to appear weak. We will need to elect a new chairman quickly. You, for instance. Ah, Big Smile Lee represents a step backwards for the Sun on Yi. Why continue to force girls into prostitution and pornography when there are other, less archaic, more profitable ways for us to make money? I have very different ideas about our future. I want to take the Sun on Yi forward. But it would be unwise even for me to stand against Big Smile Lee unaided. Which brings me to you. Nah, we both appear to have the same problem, Wei Shen. And the opportunity to benefit if we work together. So it seems. I have my own reasons for hating Big Smile Lee's operation. Now, if you stand against him, you can count on me. Good. We will talk soon. Don't tell her, huh? Wei Shen.
Hey, man. Wait! You won't believe what those assholes did! Who? Those guys at Top Glamour, they're fucking with me! I brought them another load of watches. They were supposed to give me 200,000 for them. Instead, they give me this hunk of shit. I don't even know how to ride this thing. I had to push it here. Calm down. Give me the bike. I'll get you your money. What are you gonna do? Same thing I always do, Jackie. What do you want? My friend Jackie tells me you owe him some money. You're sitting on it. And where do you get off strong-arming me, huh? I know you're a cop. And I know you're a snitch. You want to see who your boys kill first? Fuck you. Kill him! Kill him! <laughs> asshole.
Captain? I have one of your informants in the trunk of my car. What? Yeah, he needs to disappear right now. So either you make him disappear or I will. Bring him over. I'll take care of it. Where he's going, he won't be in a position to tell anyone. <coughs> hey, I can hear you! <coughs> what the fuck are you doing out there? Open the fucking truck! What are you... <coughs> hey! Show the lady some respect! You might be able to fix it. Buddy, 
you won't do better than this, pal.